Okay, so let's have this one, the operation of functions with one function is a radical. So we have two given functions, the f of x and the g of x. So for f of x, we have 4x squared plus 3. Then the g of x, the square root of x plus 2. Then solve for, so this equation is equal to f of x plus the g of x. Then substitute the values. So f of x, we have 4x squared plus 3. Then plus the g of x, the square root of x, plus 2. Now, since we're going to change anything on this um, equation, so therefore this is our final answer. Now, for this equation, that's equal to f of 2 plus the g of 2. So therefore, your x now is equal to 2. Then substitute f of 2 from the f of x. So that's 4 times x is equal to 2, then plus 3, then plus, so the g of 2 from the g of x, but x is equal to 2, then you simplify. So this 2 squared is 4 times 4, that's 16, then plus 3, and this one 2 plus 2, that's square root of 4. So we have now uh, 19 plus uh, square root of 4 is 2, so the answer now is 21. Then uh, this equation, so this one is equal to uh, f of x times the g of x. Then substitute now the values, so for f of x, we have 4x squared plus 3, then g of x, that's square root of x plus 2. Then uh, distribute, so that's 4x squared times square root of x plus 2, then plus 3 times square root of x plus 2. Again, since we cannot do anything on this equation, so therefore this is our final answer. Okay, so this one is equal to f of 3 times the g of 3. Okay, so x now is equal to 3. So from f of x, then x is equal to 3. So 4 times uh, 3 squared plus 3 times, so from g of x, but x is equal to 3. So we have uh, square root of 3 plus 2. Then you simplify. So 3 squared is 9 times 4, that's 36. Then plus 3 times this square root of 5. And this 36 plus 3, that's 39 times square root of 5. So this square root of 5 is equal to uh, 2.24. So we have now so 39 times 2.24 this one is 87.36 okay so that's the answer then this one the composition of functions uh this equation we have f times the g of x so your x now is the g of x from f of x so from f of x four times x squared but your x is the g of x, so we have square root of x uh, plus 2, then squared, then plus 3. So we have 4 times uh, cancel, so that's x plus 2, then plus 3, then uh, distribute, so that's 4x plus 8, then plus 3. So final answer now, we have... 4x plus 11. So this equation is equal to the g of f of 1. So first solve for f of 1. So from f of 1, so we have 4 times uh, 1 squared plus 3. So we have 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7 so therefore your f of 1 is equal to 7 so this equation now is equal to 
g of 7 then substitute the values from uh, the g of x so that's square root of 7 plus 2 so we have now square root of 9 and that's equal to 3 so the answer is positive 3